What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Now, in today's video, we're going to go over what, uh, yet again one of the biggest power killers that we see that is pulling off the ball. Now, I know we have other videos about pulling off the ball, but we're going to take it to another level today. Now, again, if you're up at the plate and you're hitting the balls that are curving in the outfield, you're pulling off the ball. If you're if you're hitting the ball on the barrel and this ball is just going nowhere, you're probably pulling off the ball. Well. How do we fix this? Well, in today's video, I have a great drill for you, a great field drill that's going to allow you to really start to get the sensation you need to get solid contact and compress the ball against the line that it's coming on. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that by just using the back of your hand. Boom! Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so let's first go over what's going wrong. Now, it's no mystery at this point. If we're pulling off the ball, we're probably spinning or rotating. This is, again, one of the biggest things that's killing things in baseball is everybody trying to get rotational power, rotate through the ball. Guys, by definition, if we are rotating, we are moving left. So ro the definition of rotation is to rotate around a center point. If we are rotating and our shoulders are working around our body, we are actively working left because that, that's just the way that it works. Unless we're trying to move our access towards the ball and move left or something weird, it's not really physically possible. If we're moving left, we have a glancing blow on the ball. Let me show you what I mean here, okay? So if I'm coming in to impact and my shoulders are rotating around my spine, again, by definition, my hands have to be going left. If my hands are going left, there's no way that I can truly hit this ball solid or compress it against the line that the ball is coming on. There's no possible way. So what we need to do is we need to learn how to basically not spin when we come into contact with the ball. It's that simple. So how we're going to use the back of our hand is we're going to show you how much of a cheater this bat is so that you can understand what you need to do to come into this ball solid. So if I take this tee right here, and I'm going to go ahead and face the camera this way. If I take the back of my hand, and this is a... Uh, I almost didn't want to make this video because I, I do this with a lot of my lessons and I hope, uh, you know, a lot of my future lessons don't see this video first because I love using this as a trick. What I do is I say, let's have a, who can make the loudest noise on the T competition. And we do this with the back of our hand. So like we just talked about, we're going to use the back of our hand. So what I do is I take my hand and I simply pop the T and literally 100% of the time, the student on the other side of me goes up there and misses the tee completely. Now, why does that happen? Because everyone, when they learn how to hit, they have a bat in their hands. Now, of course, we need to be able to use a bat when we hit, but the idea here, guys, is that the bat is a cheater. It is a huge, long extension that we can do a lot of wrong things, and because we have 90 degrees of air, meaning left field line to the right field line, then we can get away with a lot. That's just the way that it works. So, if I take the cheater out of my hand, and I come into impact and I'm perfectly solid and I spin even just a little bit, I'm going to miss this tee completely. That's just my shoulder moving left about two inches and that's it. And then two inches is a very quick move, especially with the torso rotation. That's all it takes to swipe across the ball, guys. That is insanely, insanely important. Now, here's how the bat cheats. Say I do the same thing with the bat and I'm trying to take my hand to the ball. Okay, I've got my hands to the ball. Now, look how much length of bat I have to cheat. I can spin off this ball like crazy for a foot and a half and still make contact with the ball. Of course, not all of that is great contact, but even if we talk about the impact area on the bat, which is, you know, roughly 10 inches, something like that, where we're going to get a pretty good shot, sweet spot right in the middle of there, we have 10 inches of play on the ball. So if I start this bat on the, on the, on the, the thick part of the bat where I'm going to get a decent hit and I start to spin... Well, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of room to cheat, but we don't want to cheat. We want to get as solid a contact every single time. We want to be able to come into impact and not spin off the ball and hit this ball solid. Again, if we are moving left, we are swiping across the ball. No other way around it. It's not up for debate. That's just the way that it works all the way around. So the drill we're going to do is we're going to do the backhand drill. Like I said from the intro, we are going to use the back of our hand to learn how to do this. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to get a tee if you have one. This is great to do. Or you can use like the side of a bed, something soft um, that you can use the back and hit the back of your hand on. And I want you to put that, you know, whatever you're going to use, the tee, whatever it is, you know, roughly around 
an impact area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up so we can reach the back of our hand without having to bend over. I'll show you here from face on or from down the line. Okay, so I can reach this T without having to bend over. It's gonna be probably a little bit right off my instep here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by just backhanding the T. So a lot of you guys, when you do this, I'm sure when you try this, you're gonna to try to backhand it, you're gonna kind of miss it. What I need you to do is I need a solid knuckles right into the back of the T with the back of your hand. Okay, that's what we're gonna start off with. We're just gonna be able to get to where we can solidly take the back of our hand and hit this T solid every single time, even to where we could almost knock that thing over. Okay, so once you have that down, that really shouldn't take you that long because you're only gonna miss it so many times before you figure out how to hit that T. After you get that down, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this bat in your hand and you're gonna do some left-handed drills where you do the same exact thing. You're gonna literally try to hit, and you're not gonna hit your hand on the ball right here. You're gonna to get to a perfect tee setup with a shorter bat. So if you know the perfect tee setup from the Pro Speed hitting system, we'll know how to set up with the sweet spot of the bat behind the ball. So we know no matter what length bat we have, we're gonna be in a perfect setup. So if I have the, the, the end of the bat in my hand, I know to set up back here. If I have a shorter bat, I'm gonna set up where I know to set up for the perfect tee setup. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna to try to do that same thing. I'm literally gonna to try to use the back of my hand. I'm literally trying to hit the, my knuckles on the ball, but because I'm standing in the perfect tee setup, my hand can't physically reach the ball, but in my mind, I'm trying to hit my knuckles on this ball. Okay, so I'm literally trying to hit the knuckles, and you can see there's no spinning through that shot, and it's a lot easier to do just with your left hand because when everybody throws the right hand on the bat, they tend to want to start to spin. So what we're going to do, again, we're going to get some swings where we're just trying to take our knuckles right to the ball. Let me show you one here from face on. Okay, so again, I'm choked up. I'm in my perfect T setup, and we're going to go trying to hit our knuckles on the ball, just like we did from the first drill. So guys, we're going to get, you know, I would say at least get it to where you can hit that T about 10 times in a row. And then when you get the bat in your hand, give me a good 25 repetitions where you're, you know, getting your knuckles as close to the ball as you can. If you start seeing some swings with just your left hand where you start to pull off the ball and you start hitting it off the end of the bat, kind of, you got to recognize it. If you're filming yourself on camera and you see the balls off the end of the bat, then you're completely off because what we need to see is we need to almost see the, the, the thin part of the bat hitting the ball because we're trying to get our hands as close to this as we can. So after we get those 25 repetitions in with just our left hand, all we're going to do is we're going to use that same feel with our back hand to take some full swings with the bat. We're going to work up our 25 to 50 to 75 to 100% repetitions like we do in all the drills in the Pro Speed Hitting System. We're going to work from slower to faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load stride right here, get my, my speed load and my pro stride. And from right here, I'm just going to have that same feel like I'm backhanding the ball at about 25%. Okay, so right there, I know my hands are going right to the ball. I can kind of feel the back of my lead hand going to the ball. Okay, we're going to get 25 repetitions at 25%, get another 25 at 50%. Again, we're going to go from the load stride position, make sure the back of our left hand is going towards the ball. And really, guys, I mean, even doing this drill right now, I can, feel, I can definitely feel some really, really good contact just simply because I'm guaranteeing zero spin through impact. So again, we're gonna to go to 75% from the load stride position. Again, I'm literally just taking, trying to get my left knuckles, my lead knuckles, as close to that ball as I possibly can. Okay, and again, guys, I mean, it's just insanely solid. When you, when you do it right, there's really no mistaking it. So we got 25 more repetitions at 75%, 25 more at 100%. Guys, this is, again, it's more of a field drill because we can't really get our left hand to the ball, but understand, that if we're spinning, we're pulling off the ball, we're glancing across it. It's the worst thing that we can possibly do as a hitter. Get this drill in, understand the fact that the bat's a cheater. Don't cheat yourself, come into the ball with solid contact and start taking advantage of all the speed you're creating in your swing. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit more about your swing today and it's gonna really help you increase your power at the plate. But stay tuned, I got an even better bonus video coming up for you. That's going to, if you click on the link that pops up in the iCard or in the description below, you can check out that entire video absolutely free. It's one of our premium videos from our membership website, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Good luck with your games, good luck with your swings, and we'll see you guys soon. Today, I'm going to show you the number one move that kills bat lag, but most importantly, 
we're going to do a drill that will instantly give you a tight transition into bat lag and have your swing look, looking drastically better today. The move that I'm talking about here is when we're going into our transition and the bat lays down and now the only thing that we have to rely on for bat speed is our pure swing strength. from Mike Trout. He does this really, really well. You'll see as we pause him here in the max bat lag position, his barrel is really high and you can see that it's barely dipping into that line. You can imagine if this was a nail and this bat was a hammer, if I was trying to hammer this nail in like this, this would be kind of like me dumping the bat. But if I'm letting this hammer swing and slam into this ball over and over again, I'm gonna be very, very efficient. Now, I'm sure you guys are ready for it by now. Let's go ahead and dive into the wall drill. All right, guys, here we go, the wall drill. 